Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Today I'm going to show you how to change the rear left side if you're looking at it from behind bearings on a 2003 Polaris Sportsman 700 twin. This side's a little bit different than the other side. This side does not have a brake caliper. There's two brakes in the front and then only one in the back. So this is the easier side. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jack up the four-wheeler. Make sure you use some jack stands. Safety is always important. Next, you want to remove the tire. Those are 14 millimeter bolts. So I'm going to get that off and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I have the tire off. Next, you're going to want to remove this plastic cover here, a rubber cover. Can be a pain in the butt but there'll be a big bolt there for your axle there go. you're going to want to remove the cotter pin and then this bolt and make sure you do pay attention which way the washers are because you want them to go in the same way and then after you get that out that'll pop right out and then you're going to want to take out this bolt here, and this bolt here, and this big bolt here. These ones here, there's like a big metal thing that slides in to this. So you're going to want to pull that out a little bit. So I'm going to get that all done and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. thought I'd show you what this looks like when you take it off. So you're going to push the axle back, and then this will just slide right out. But that's not what's going to happen, because stuff never goes easy. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these bolts all out first, and then I'll take the whole thing off. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so I have it off. So those are those two big things that I was telling you about. And they kind of slip in with the bolt. And they go right there and hold it in place. So next, what we're going to want to do is get these two apart. This seems to be in here pretty good. So I'm going to get that apart and then I'll be right back. I am back. So I have the two pieces finally apart. I let them sit in the parts washer for a little bit. The bearing isn't too bad. The other side, that bearing, it just completely came to piece, went to pieces. So next we're going to use a snap ring pliers. This one I really, really like because it's a screw. So it makes it really easy. Make sure you wear safety goggles. It's always good to be safe. Let's get it in the holes here. Alright, we have it in, and so you just tighten it up. After having it in the parts washer, it makes it really easy because then. moves quite easily almost got it here a little bit boom comes right out and what I really like about that is you can just kind of let it sit and it'll be good to go until you get to the next part so next we're gonna have to use a press and push this out towards where the snap ring was so I'm gonna go over to the press and I'll be right back all right, we are back at the press. So if you have a press, you can use a socket. Or I have this handy dandy special tool for doing bearings. So you set it right in there. And then this goes here to make it a little tighter. And you push it out. If you don't have a press, you can use a socket 
and a hammer. It's a pain in the butt and I don't suggest it, but it will work. Just use a big, big socket and then... So, I'm going to get this pushed out and I will be right back. I just got a little look at what we're doing here. As you can see, it's slowly going down. Yankee there one day. So, I'm going to get that all the way out and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're all done and we have it out. So I'm going to put this in the parts washer for a little bit longer and then get this all cleaned up inside. And then I'll come back and we'll press in the new one. Hey, right, we are back. So, I have the new bearing here. And we'll put it in here. And then press it down. As you can see, there's a lip there that it'll catch on. So make sure you don't keep pushing. Because once it gets there, it's there. You want it to be straight. And what I found was, if you put a wrench under this side... With the big hole it actually makes it perfectly straight so it's pretty cool so next we'll get it on there and i'll come back when i'm pressing it in all right i'm back and i'm all ready to start pressing it in you want to make sure that when you're using when you're pressing it in you want to have something that is the exact size of the bearing and presses on the outside not the inside races, otherwise it can mess up the bearing, just so you know. Alright, I had to slide it over a little bit. And let's start pressing. I do wish I had one of the air jacks, but this works perfect. Starting to go in a little bit sideways. Let me adjust it here. I'm going to get it started in so I don't get it all messed up. And I will be right back. Alright, we are back. So, here it is going. So, once I get it all in, I will be right back. Alright, we are back and we have it all pressed in. You want to make sure you have it underneath the lip here for the snap ring. So, as you can see, we didn't damage the bearing, which is wonderful. So next, we'll go over and put the snap ring back in and we'll be right back. All right, we're over back at the vise. So we have our snap ring. All you gotta do is set it down in there. Hold on. All right, I'm back, I have it in. Uh, the vise wasn't as tight as I wanted it to be, so it kind of slipped a little bit. So that is pretty much all you gotta do. Next, you just, uh, Put it back on like how we took it off. I hope this helps you out if you wanted to know how to change the back left bearing, wheel bearing, on a 2003 Polaris Sportsman 700 Twin. I hope this helped you out. In the comments below, let me know if you have any questions. Hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out. I'll see you guys later.